Heavy scene. Matthew Lawrence joins us this morning, and let me tell you, this is a man of many talents. Yes, you really can juggle. Well, a little bit. Did, did you? Used to... yeah. <laughs> oh. I won't ask you to teach me. No, I can teach you really quickly, though. No, you can't. I don't usually juggle apples. I usually juggle chainsaws and, oh. and uh, <laughs> this is easy, eggs huh? and stuff. So that's, How are you? It's nice to see Life's you. Life's good to you right now. Life is very good to me. Yeah, Thank you. duet's doing so well, yeah, huh? It's the third season already. Gosh, you, it's on the Fox Network for those yeah. of you that want to find it. You said, <laughs> uh, or already watch it, you said that Ben Coleman, this character, is really an extension of you. Not very many actors are willing to claim that about a, a, a role, a character. Well, it's. Uh, I think they're pretty stupid when they don't, if it's, if it's uh, easy to see. There are certain things that you do that I think you get apart because the, the guy is like you. And then there are other roles that are real character roles that, uh, like in Prince of the City, I mean, you play a junkie and I guess there are some actors that could say that that's real close to them, too. But it really shows that you're versatile. I mean, you've done Saturday Night Live, not necessarily the news, at this, you know, so many dramatic and, and comedic roles. Yeah. Uh, versatile. Not Very necessarily versatile. the news was my brother. Oh, it was your brother. I have a twin brother named I Mitchell. Knew, I know, but I thought it was you. No. See, it's Boy. Uh, it's easy that way. He Everybody on thinks LA I Law, do all this he? stuff. He's done a couple of, of guest stars and things on L.A. Law, yeah. Are you recently. in competition, the fact that you're both actors? Uh, it's, it's, it's a difficult situation, right? The last couple of years, it hasn't been that hard because I've had the series and I haven't been able to do anything else. So right now, we're just trying to concentrate on being brothers and friends and let the other stuff take care of itself. You're identical? Yeah. Identical twins. Oh, Lord, I would think It's going to make a that, great movie someday. Oh, but I would also think that would find it very difficult. Yeah. I mean, two actors who look exactly alike. You're worried about finding your own identity? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it, it's going to make a great movie. It's, it's a long story. Yeah, but how is it for life? <laughs> it hasn't been that easy. Uh, the last couple of years, like I said, thank God everything's been really good. We're very close again. And uh, we're just going to kind of let see where it goes and try not to let it get between us. Interesting that you both picked acting. Why, do yeah. you think? Because uh, we're both hams and we didn't want to work. Encouraged uh, by your families? Uh, your family? No, actually not at all. Um, my whole life I was going to be a lawyer. And uh, it had to do with my father being poor when they grew up and he didn't want to have to worry. And uh, in the middle of my law boards, I went to school at Tufts mm -hmm. up here and uh, we took the law boards at Harvard. And I was put my pencil down halfway through my law boards and I looked around and everybody was pulling their hair out there. And I said, what am I doing? I don't want to do this. And I realized it was for my father that I was doing it, and I went home, and uh, he was the most amazing man I'll ever know. I went home, and uh, he said, did you send your applications in yet? I said, no, I'm not going to. Oh, really? What are you going to do? And talk about going from the sublime to the ridiculous. I said, I'm going to be an actor. And he just got up from the table and walked inside. And uh, I, it was very hard for me, because I really okay. loved him. But the next morning, he came in, and he sat on my bed. He woke me up, and he said, if this is really what you want to do, then I'll be behind you 100%. Boy, that takes a, a big man and a good he father. Was an amazing but guy. you're very lucky that you found that out in the middle of law boards and not after oh, yeah. you've gotten into practice yeah. and established some life stuff for yourself. Yeah. No, a lot of people, I, uh, I think, find themselves in professions they don't like. And have to do it for the rest of their lives because yeah. they don't know what else to do. Uh, a quote from you you know, part of your character is making people happy, and mm -hmm. you really get into making people happy. Um, a quote My greatest joy in life is making somebody happy. There's no greater feeling for me than that. Are you really that good? Yeah. <laughs> Modest too. <laughs> no, I uh, no that it comes from it's the way my parents were and and that's how I was raised. Um, you were broke, didn't um, have a job, and continued to send this woman you loved flowers every night. Yeah. I, I heard. Well, I I was uh, you know I, I liked the way she looked. I didn't want her to leave. <laughs> Are you an incurable and romantic? I figure, um, yeah, I hope I'm still an incurable romantic. I know I was most of my life. It's getting difficult. It's, Why? Uh, it's it's just very it's very hard to meet somebody anyway. I mean, no matter where you live, it's in Los Angeles. It's doubly hard because all the cliches are really true out there, I and mean, people are very concerned with what kind of car you drive and what series you're on and what you can do for them, and uh, they're very superficial. So it's hard hard enough to meet somebody anyway, but out there it's twice as hard. So now you have to wonder if a lady is interested in you, if she's interested for the right reasons. Yeah. I think all, almost all people that are visible go through that, don't yeah. they? Yeah. At one point or another. Um, I, you, if even in spite of this. Are you happy? I mean, without oh, yeah. someone to share this success with... I'm as happy as you can be without having somebody to share it with. I mean, uh, I, would, I would really... I've always enjoyed being in a relationship. I've always loved being in a relationship when I've been in them. And you go, the first year of the show, I didn't care. You know, it was, things were great and I can travel, I can do whatever I want, but now... Uh, it would be really wonderful to be with somebody and be able to share, because I, I do have a lot more to share now than yeah. I ever did before. Um, 
but it's I just figure it's the way that it is. You I know? bet you it's, the day you stop looking, you is. find her. Yeah, I'm not really looking actively. I mean, I don't. You know, it's not like I sit at home and go. I got to go out and find somebody to have a relationship with. You know. There are rumors that you and your co-star uh, oh. had had a thing. No. Oh no. No, but oh. you did say that she was a woman you could love. Yeah. Didn't you say that? Yeah, she's. I've said it to her too. This is Mary Page Kelly. Yeah, but her. Uh, it's funny. The day that I met her. I was in Los Angeles and they flew her out from New York to test for the role. And I picked her up at the at her ho hotel to take her over for the test and I walked in and she was beautiful and she was funny and she was, and I remember driving over there and going this could be very interesting if she gets this part this could be real. And uh, that I drove her back to the hotel and the whole way back to the hotel she talked about her boyfriend that she was living with <laughs> who is the biggest guy you have ever <laughs> he's 6'5" he has a black belt in taekwondo he's so right away, I was... That was smart. That's very no, smart. <laughs> she's wonderful, but I'm not doing anything. So here. do you have a long contract that's going to keep you doing this show? As long as they keep picking us up. We just got picked up for another season. You like the Fox uh, Network. You say good it, things about them. It's wonderful. They're wonder, wonderful people to work for. It's not... I've worked for the, th the other three networks, and there's so much pressure to, to, I think, come down, you know, in the material to Iowa or to, to the find a middle ground and with Fox it's not like that we're encouraged to be as creative as I we can be. I think that is wonderful. You also, uh, if people remember this, Matthew did a stint on Five All Night Live I sure did. All Night. From this studio. From this studio. Brian Pelicano just weeks. shook your hand and said I was your floor director on Five All Night. Yeah and I wish you would learn, You by now you still haven't learned how to do it for <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> yes he has, he's the best. He's the AT, are you kidding? He's the greatest. Me and Al and Jimmy. Um, you loved that though didn't you? It was a different format. I had uh, I, live from 1 to 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> Bye. It was fun. the best. We had a lot of fun here. Kifo, I don't know where Kifo is. Kifo is on remote as a Kifo is on remote. Yeah. He was the stage manager for the show a lot of the time, and uh, Mary Ellen was, was working yeah. on the show here, and we had a great time. This is the studio. So it's like a homie for you. It's wonderful. That's it's great, great to see you, too, especially that pilot that you did. I don't know why that didn't go. <laughs> yeah. I would have thought you would still be working oh, on that Oh, wasn't that, that wonderful? Yes. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. <laughs> Take care. Okay. Matthew Lawrence.